If your games are lagging or your PC feels slow, your processor might not be working at full speed. In this video, I'll show you how to fix that by changing some hidden window settings. These are not basic tips. These tweaks will help your processor run faster and give you better performance in games and other heavy tasks. Whether you play games, edit videos, or just want your PC to feel faster, this guide will help. Let's get started. What's related with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need gear booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Step 1. Unlock full processor speed using registry tweaks. Most Windows systems are pre-configured to reduce power usage by limiting processor behavior, even during gaming or demanding tasks. This includes hidden features like processor core parking and background task prioritization that silently throttle your performance. These default settings are meant to save energy, but they come at the cost of speed and responsiveness, especially in games. In this step, we'll manually override these limitations and unlock the true potential of your processor. Start by opening the registry editor. Click on the Windows search bar, type regedit, right click on it and select run as administrator. Once the editor opens, paste the registry path from the video description into the address bar and press enter. This path takes you to the core settings that manage processor core parking, a feature that disables unused cores to save power but ends up causing stutters and delayed response in games. Here, locate the entry named max double click on it and in the modify window set the value data to 100. Choose hexadecimal as the base and click OK. This ensures your processor always runs at full performance. Right below that find the min entry, modify it and set the value data to 0 with a hexadecimal base again. This disables any unnecessary power saving limits on your processor. Now we'll give priority to the apps you're actively using. Paste the second registry path from the description into the address bar and hit enter. You'll arrive at a value called Win32 Priority Separation. Right click it, choose modify and set its value data to 26, keeping the base set to hexadecimal. This makes sure Windows focuses more power on the apps in the foreground, like your games, rather than wasting it on background tasks. After applying these registry edits, close the editor and restart your PC to activate the changes. Once done, you'll experience smoother gameplay, quicker responsiveness, and a noticeable speed boost in your processor-heavy tasks. Step 2. Apply full processor optimization using the Quick CPU Tool and Pack. If you want to unlock the true speed of your processor, default Windows settings alone aren't enough. Windows often applies hidden throttling and background limits that prevent your processor from reaching its maximum potential during gaming or multitasking. That's why in this step, we're going to apply a complete optimization pack along with the quick CPU tool to fix these limitations and boost raw performance. Start by downloading the processor optimization pack from my official website. Just check the video description for the link. To get it, simply visit my official website uptopacks.com. The link is in the description below. Once you're there, head over to the FPS Boost section and look for the post that shares the same title and thumbnail as this video. It's easy to recognize. Scroll down slightly and you'll find a direct download link ready to grab with no extra steps. After downloading, extract the folder to your desktop and open the CPU optimization directory. Inside, you'll see multiple files. Install them one by one, exactly as shown on screen, to make sure all tweaks are correctly applied. Now, head into the CPU priority folder. You'll find two subfolders, one for Intel processors and another for AMD processors. Based on your hardware, open the matching folder and install the corresponding registry file. This tweak sets a higher processor priority level for your games and essential programs, making them more responsive and snappier. After that, it's time to install the Quick CPU tool from the pack. Once installation completes, the program will automatically launch and show you a detailed interface. This tool exposes advanced processor control settings that Windows normally hides. Let's go step by step through the most important settings to maximize your gaming performance and eliminate input lag. First, 
change the system power plan by selecting ultimate performance from the drop down menu at the top. This plan allows your processor to run at full power without throttling, giving you maximum system responsiveness and stable frame rates. Now, scroll down to the processor control sliders. Set core parking to 100%. This ensures that none of your processor cores stay parked or idle, which improves multitasking and consistent performance. Then, move the performance slider to 100% to make sure your processor always stays in its high speed mode. Next, set frequency scaling to 100% so your processor maintains peak frequency even under load. Finally, set turbo boost to 100%, which allows your processor to temporarily exceed its base clock speed for extra power during heavy gaming moments. After adjusting these sliders, click apply and then press OK to confirm the changes. Now, go into the advanced CPU settings tab. Here, check the box for turbo boost to make sure this function is enabled system wide. Also, enable enhanced speed step technology. EAST. This helps with better power regulation without harming gaming performance. Lastly, activate all options under turbo power limits so your processor can operate at its full potential under stress. Once these steps are done, you can safely close quick CPU. These tweaks ensure that your processor delivers stable performance, higher FPS and smooth gaming without random lag spikes or stutters. After applying this optimization, you'll immediately feel faster system responsiveness and tighter control while gaming. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 3. Optimize Processor Resource Allocation Windows doesn't always use your processor in the smartest way. By default, some settings divide processing power equally between background services and active programs, which slows down your system during gaming or streaming. In this step, we'll fix that by making your system focus more on active applications and disabling unnecessary visual effects that drain processing power without adding any real value. Start by opening Advanced System Settings. Just type it in the window search bar and open the result. In the new window, switch to the advanced tier and under the performance section, click on settings. Another window will appear. Again, go to the advanced tab inside it. Here, you'll find a setting called processor scheduling. Make sure it's set to programs, not background services. This change ensures your system prioritizes the active applications, like games or editing software, giving them more processor time to run smoothly and with fewer delays. Now switch over to the visual effects tab in the same window. Select the option that says adjust for best performance. This disables all the fancy animations and transitions that look nice but use up valuable processor and memory resources. Once you apply this, your system will instantly become more performance oriented. However, you don't have to sacrifice usability completely. After choosing Adjust for Best Performance, scroll through the list and manually re-enable a few useful visual effects if needed. For example, Animate Windows when minimizing and maximizing keeps transitions smooth without heavy resource use. Show thumbnails instead of icons. 
helpful for quickly previewing images or files in Explorer. Smooth edges of screen fonts improves text clarity for easier reading. Once your selections are made, click apply, then hit OK to save and exit. After applying this optimization, you'll notice better app responsiveness, reduced stuttering games, and a much faster feel when navigating your PC. Step four, disable core isolation to free up processor power. Modern Windows systems include a feature called core isolation, designed to improve security using virtualization-based protection. While this adds an extra layer of defense against malware, it also consumes processor power in the background, power that could be better used for gaming or heavy multitasking. On mid-range or older systems, this can create noticeable performance loss. In this step, we'll disable core isolation to release processor resources and improve responsiveness. To begin, type core isolation into the Windows search bar and click on the result. This will take you to the core isolation settings inside Windows Security. Once you're there, locate the memory integrity option. This is the main component of core isolation and is responsible for using virtualization to keep certain system processes protected. While it's helpful from a security standpoint, it does place an extra load on your processor, especially during resource heavy tasks like gaming. To disable it, simply toggle the memory integrity switch to off. Windows may prompt you to restart your system for the change to take effect. Go ahead and reboot your PC when prompted. Keep in mind, this setting is mainly useful for users who need top-level security. If your main goal is maximizing performance and you already use trusted software and browsing habits, disabling this won't expose you to much risk. After turning off core isolation, your processor will have more available power for games and real-time tasks leading to reduced stutters and smoother performance. You'll likely notice a more consistent frame rate, especially on older or budget processors. Step five, boost processor power through system configuration tweaks. Windows doesn't automatically allow your processor to use its full potential during startup. In fact, by default, only a portion of your processor cores may be utilized during boot, and several unnecessary background services can stay active, silently draining resources. In this step, we'll unlock all processor cores and disable useless services to ensure your system runs lean and fast from the moment it powers on. To begin, type system configuration into the Windows search bar and open the result. Once the window opens, click on the boot tab. Here, you'll see a button labeled advanced options. Click it. In the new window that appears, check the box next to number of processors. Then open the drop down menu and select the highest number available. This allows Windows to utilize all available processor cores during startup, which speeds up boot time and ensures smoother resource allocation. Click OK to apply this setting and now switch to the Services tab. Before doing anything, check the box that says Hide all Microsoft services. This prevents you from accidentally disabling essential system components. Now, carefully review the remaining list of third-party services. Disable anything that's clearly not needed, such as updaters, background launchers, or idle services from unused software. Once you finish selecting, click apply, then press OK, and restart your PC when prompted. This will implement the changes and streamline your system for better processor efficiency. After applying this tweak, you'll notice faster boot times, reduced background load, and a more responsive experience while gaming or multitasking. And that wraps it up, guys. Your system is now fully optimized for faster processor speed and smoother gaming performance. If this guide helped you out, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.